Hello and welcome to this uh, slightly more sober edition of Amnesia. Um, uh, we we good with this one, we good. Okay, so I believe we've got to go light all the fires, haven't we? We've done that one, we've done this one. So the other ones that check are, well, in here. Now if it really is a case of just walk around and light the fires, and, uh, I'm not going to be massively impressed. I'm hoping there'll be more to it than that. But <laughs> we just need two two bits in there. Well, there's technically three. Let's let's try that. Yeah, that's good. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Most unscary, scary monster I've ever seen. Um, have I done number four? Let's have a look. Since I, I probably need to carry one of these with me. I'm assuming I have to carry at least one of these, so let's go over the gander. Five and six around here. Oh, five's on. So, just six to go. In you are. Uh, more coal for the fire god. God, yeah, look how survival horror I am right now. God, I'm so surviving and horror. I'm lighting stuff. I'm pulling pointless levers. I'm definitely in a horror game. The fires are stoked. Assuming the same architect is responsible here as with the chemical plant, I surmise that a centralised control system regulates and operates the pistons. The one I've already seen. It should be a simple matter of finding it. The one I had to go past to get here. And hoping the saboteur relented after simply extinguishing the fires. One may extrapolate that perhaps this control room would be the control room I'm looking for. Oh no you didn't! You pig masked me! Oh, you sly and slightly confusing saboteur man. So I guess I should be all control right now. Oh. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh look at all these levers! Not entirely sure why the fires went out as a well the lights went out as opposed to on. I'm guessing I have to go back in the way I came, but uh, perhaps not. Hey, did you just declip? You just disappeared, didn't you? Didn't you? Come over there and smack you in the gabba, mate. Bloody pork chop. Where art thou, pork chop? I think you probably ran into the grate. Ooh. Is he gonna slam behind me in a really suspiciously scary way? Huh? No, it's not. That's disappointing. Nevertheless, I'll continue anyway. Ah! Ah! Ha ha ha! Yes. Suspicious and scary. Or neither of the above. I am really of the one mind that I do not find the darkness particularly frightening. I prefer to see what's going on Silent Hill-esque and have it creepy that way. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not here to sort of wee on Frictional and the Chinese Roots Parade, but I don't think they've quite got it here. Whereas I feel that Penumbra was their strongest game so far. I feel this is probably the weakest one. Though, to be fair, I have not finished it. But just based, based on the first few hours I've seen now, it's... It doesn't have me sort of whimpering in a corner where there's an evil zombie dog may or may not be looking at me. I don't know what it is, I don't know what's going on. And while I can defend myself, it's a frightening experience. Something Penumbra got down very well, even though you could sort of lure the dogs and smash them with brooms and have a Star Trek sequence, even though you could do that, it still made me really nervous actually. I, I don't know why. It's just I, f I find a non, a definitely a non-human enemy I find quite frightening. Whereas these pig monsters are just... I suppose I should move. Move! Moo! <laughs> what a riot. I can't see the piggy, it's a bit dark. There he is. He's kind of like chilling out. Shooting some people outside the school, that kind of thing. Yeah, we don't freak out looking at the monsters anymore either. That was quite a big thing. Like. The main thing about, obviously, Amnesia and Penumbra is you could not look at your adversaries, which wh probably helps, because, you know, in a horror title, the more you look at something, the less creepy it is. 
It's just the way it works. Do I need anything over here? No. Where's El Pigo then? Can't really see him anymore. Yeah, yeah, I know you're bacon. You're like 100% pure bacon, but still. He's over there. I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to be going now. Away from him, probably. Let's wander around this way somewhat. Well, we can't go up. There ain't nothing to do here. And 100% pure bacon's over there. I suppose we can go along here. If we can. Really? I can't. This is very irritating because this is so dark here. I can't even see the, where the damn pig is anymore. He's there. I'm assuming he can see me. No, oh, I'm completely lost. I have no idea where I'm going. Maybe start this conveyor belt up again? I assume I can't just jump on it and move along. Seems obvious, but. So there's an exit over there. Sorry, Bacon. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Bacon's upset with me. Still can't see the damn thing. We can't got switches on here. No. There's a workbench lit over here, but still, there's nothing on it. I'm obviously missing something extremely simple, probably by the pig, which is why he's guarding it, no doubt. But I can't get over there to check it out. Oh, over there. Okay. Alright. We'll just move away from El Pigo. Alright then, Bacon, calm down. Oh, all this talk about pigs making me really hungry. I can't really fear an enemy I'm hungry about. Like, imagine if the things that chase you for number were, like, you know, I don't, I don't eat dog, so, but imagine if I did. Oh, I'd just be salivating. Yeah, yeah, bite me. Crap. Just squeaking now. No. I can speak squeak. I saw the Emperor's New Groove. Uh, squeakity, uh, squeaking. Squeaking. Squeak. Yep. It's dark. It's claustrophobic. I can't see shit and I have no idea what I'm doing. I am definitely, definitely in a horror game. And I can fondle with doors. I'm always pointing to see. Bacon, 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 bacon. Oh, we got more bacon over here, have we? Oh, definitely got more bacon here. I wonder if we can sneak past him. Or oh, we're about to get mauled, about to find out. Oh, Colonel, it seems they can't see me from the side. Mm. Latest piggy. Oh, terrible. They, they have genome soldier syndrome. Alright, this place go, this goes to the same place. That's very poor. Alright, let's just try the other way. Oh, what do I do? Go down the pit, Snake. Oh, that sounds like a fantastic idea. Oh, check my journal. Colonel, it says the descent continues. Oh, oh my god, look at her! Anyway, what did that dark voice instruct me to do? Under the pistons, into the tunnels, and onto the bilge pumps. And if the door should be locked, we'll have to find another means of descent. Like a dark descent! Ah, ah, ah. I cannot trust him, but my path is set. I shall ignore these noises, that snuffling, those shuffling steps below me. I will brave whatever lurks below, and I will save them, to discipline them for being stupid. Uh, beat that damn kid with a clip over the ear. Psh! Fool! This seems like a terrible idea. There's only way I can go down without breaking my legs. Oh, it wasn't that far. Hazard with not having feet, I can't really tell. Oh, this is Shoggoth territory. If if one was to Shoggoth, this is where you'd do it, by the way. You'd walk along there and suddenly some gigantic, nameless horror. Ha, <laughs> naked. We got a blue haze going on here. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, notes, cool. Anything else around here before I read? No, we read now? No, we read now. Oh boy. April 30th, 1899. The crate arrived this morning, and I had it delivered directly to the workshop. The body is remarkably preserved, although there is a subtle yet nauseating stench of damp and rot. It is humanoid in shape, but has suffered severe skeletal deformities. Remnants of leather straps encase the torso, which is deformed, with evidence of substantial muscle mass and displacement. It is difficult to ascertain whether this unfortunate is the recipient of some barbarous surgery, or was born deformed and an attempt to force his gnarled body into something some semblance of humanity was made. What he is I cannot tell, but I smell the orb upon him. I suspect my great uncle's presence in his curious condition. So it can be done. We can reshape the body into a tool, accelerate the process of Mr. Darwin's evolution. But here, my great uncle and I part company. He chose men as the subjects of his experiments, but men are difficult to control and rotten with sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our chattels. Loyal, clever, strong, easily sated, tasty, could go, goes on well on a sandwich, snuffles, quite cute at times. Yes. I'm assuming here that the great uncle would be the uh, nice nudie man in Amnesia. I'm not going to say any more in case the people have not played the first one, but I'm assuming the connection is there. That would be my best guess anyway. Alright. Oh, fine. Can't go down the naked play fame's place. So we're going to be run down here. We're going to be chased? Oi! Clunk, 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 clunk. No? Would seem obvious. I would chase myself down here. No? Alright. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Try to climb up this very small ladder. Seems to be an El Pigo in there, but uh I'm guessing we can hide in here when El Pigo comes up. Chemical transportation. Mm, maybe not then. Fine. Oh, fine. Okay, I guess that's, that's where we go. I was wondering if we'd hide in there or something. Okay, so, loading screen. We have a picture of a town hall, perhaps, or one of the like, workman buildings with a clock tower on the top, smoke coming out of a chimney with some machines inside, um, look like some scientific machines, one looks kind of like a Tesla coil, but not quite, um, and the text, in the nest of eggs, throw and sixpence sparrows and doves, see all the angels are weeping above, there's no more forgiven, there's no more to save, for today darling Lily goes into her grave. Ah, oh, that's nice, I like that one. Is Lily the stupid kid with the annoying voice? No wait, no, Lily's his wife, isn't it? You know, Mandus, we've really got to work on this whole, you know, factory not having any working doors thing. Probably some regulation in here somewhere. Oh, sorry, am I supposed to be friend? I wasn't sure. I was just looking around, see if maybe I missed a scare or something. I don't mean that. In, I don't mean honestly mean that in like a facetious way at all. I honestly mean was I supposed to be frightened and looking at something and be bothered? But I think it's just a lot of noise. I was hoping something was jumping on the top, and I'd be like, ah! But there was nothing jumping on the top. Come on, Mandus, get up. You got definitely cry powers. Let's do this. Ugh. Ugh. Sweet. Neat. I'll answer the phone first, because apparently the phone calls can stop. Hello, Bullshit Express. Oh, you rhymed. That was really cool. Hello? Hello? Asshole. That's so rude. Alright. What's in the journal? Ugh. Bruised and battered but alive. I have survived the saboteur's best efforts. He and I are now locked in an epic struggle. Mm, not sure that's the words I would use. But I'm driven to find my family and I will prevail. Ignore the madness about me. Do not consider what cruel and unspeakable acts have been committed here. Find the way into the bilge. Drain the flood. Free your children. Wait, what? Free your children? Why are we, write, are we writing this as a first person, or are we now writing this as a third person event? That's weird. Uh, 